Hi everyone, welcome to DG Virtual Academy. We are so excited you could join us. Do not attempt any of these exercises without adult supervision. Also, be aware of your surroundings. Make sure the area you are doing gymnastics is on the grass or a panel mat. Remove any objects or people from the area to avoid hurting yourself or anyone else. Hi there, I'm Coach Kelly. I'm Coach Logan. And we are here with Flexibility Friday. Gonna do a little bit of flexibility. Uh, today we're gonna do a little more static stretching. Um, it's one of my favorites. I like to do it just simply for um, some relaxation. It's uh, kind of puts you almost in a meditative state. So if you have some music, go ahead, put some music on. Uh, best time to stretch, a little bit of music, some sort of distraction, or unless you just wanna kind of meditate, I don't mind complete silence. I'll be talking through this whole video because you're gonna be holding your stretches a lot. Uh, so rather than have uncomfortable silence, I'll be explaining to you a little bit about what we're stretching, why we're stretching it, all that good stuff. So, all right, let's get started. All right, we're gonna start our flexibility. Uh, just a basic butterfly position, pull those feet in kind of nice and tight right now. And I want you just to lean it forward just a little bit. Um, one of my favorite things for flexibility, I'm gonna talk a lot during this video, um, just more because we're gonna be doing a lot of static stretching. So you're gonna hold your flexibility, you're gonna hold these stretches. Uh, what we're gonna do is hold them till it gets a little comfortable, and then we're just gonna reach out and stretch that muscle a little further. So right now, just as I've talked, this position here has probably gotten a little more comfortable for you. I want you to drop yourself down a little further. So I'm getting down a little more towards my elbows. Uh, one of my favorite things to do, what I do at home when I'm stretching, is I have usually some music going. Um, sometimes I'll be working on my phone. I might have a book in front of me. I might have the TV on just for some noise. Most of the time, I'm just listening to some music. So get where you're nice and comfortable, clear your mind, and just relax a little bit. It's almost like a little bit of meditation going on. So once you're comfortable, you're gonna drop it down a little further. In this position, I want you to make sure that you're not rounding. I'm gonna turn sideways. You guys stay where you're at. I don't want you, when you're doing this position, I don't wanna see this stretch. I wanna see you reach your chin forward and down. So I'm gonna stay turned sideways just so you can see a little bit more. And I'm really not known for my flexibility, but I love to stretch. I think it just feels good. Again, it puts you in a little more of a meditative state. You can listen to a little bit of your favorite music, maybe read a book and just stretch. Nice long breaths. One day maybe we'll do some yoga here on our uh, YouTube channel. So again, this is just a nice butterfly position, opening up that hip flexor and groin area. You're gonna feel the stretch, make sure you guys stay down the stretch, but you're gonna feel the stretch right through here and also right through here. Now we're gonna change it up. Logan should still stay to the front. I'm gonna show that we're gonna push our feet out now to a little more of a diamond shape. We're gonna hold these stretches not quite as long as I would probably hold them if I was doing it on my own, but for the sake of time, we won't hold them quite as long. So now we're making a diamond shape with our feet. We're gonna again, reach it out, not rounding the back, but keeping that back flat and stretch it out. Again, it's okay if you don't go very far. If you are to start here, that's fine. You might start higher than that one time Mr. Cook actually stretched with us and he didn't go very far down. I think he only stretched once or twice. He hasn't been back to my stretch class. So you're gonna hold it where you're comfortable. After a little bit, you're gonna notice that it's kind of comfortable so you can go a little further. So right now, if this was my comfort zone, after a few minutes, I'm gonna be able to drop a little further. Just because I wanna make this a little more meaningful for me right now, I'm gonna get down to my comfort zone, which is a little further down. And just hold it. Make sure you're taking some nice long deep breaths. Close your eyes, get nice and comfy. Maybe, what was that? Siri? Someone's talking in my earbud. I wonder if it's gonna be in the video. All right, if you're comfy here, sometimes too I like to just say scrunch my fingers out. So I'll scrunch my fingers out, just get a little more of a stretch and relax. Again, you can hold these stretches as long as you're comfortable. If you've got a good song rocking out in your ear, uh, reading a good chapter in your book, you can hold it even longer. Right now, we're gonna go ahead, set it up. 
and stretch those feet out in front of you. All right, so now after the butterfly position, we're gonna go ahead and do a pike position. I'm gonna make sure Logan's facing forward for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and face sideways. Um, this is one of the um, weaker stretching positions for me. So it's kind of nice, I'll be able to show you. I'm not all that flexible. It still is good for me to stretch. So starting in a pike position, again, I don't want you rounded when you reach forward. I want you to try and keep that tummy up tall and then just reach that chin forward. You're gonna like, like there's a string pulling your chin forward. Go to your comfort zone. Mine's simply right here. Right now, I'd like you to have pointed toes. You're gonna feel it behind your knees. You're gonna feel it on the back of your thighs through your hamstring position. And again, push through if it's a little uncomfortable. I want you guys to remember there's a difference between injury kind of pain and just stretching kind of, um, I hate to even call it pain, just some stretching discomfort. Uh, I know I've done this long enough where I feel like I can tell the difference between um, like the good stretching kind of pain um, or discomfort uh, and, it, and it's, it's a little uncomfortable um, to be honest with you, but I know that it's actually a good thing. So just be comfortable. If you can go down further, that's awesome. Make sure those feet are together, those toes are pointed. Um, even if they're touching your mama. And as you get comfortable, just relax a little further. Again, feel free to do this with a book. Maybe um, get your music going in, um, you know, one ear while you're watching the video. You can still hear me a little bit, but maybe get some music going too. And just relax you can. I like to sometimes if you're nice and flexible, what I'll tell my athletes, I'm going to turn a little bit sideways, is put your hands flat on the floor. If you grab for your toes, then you're limiting yourself to this far. If you are reaching on the floor, there's times you can have your hands past your toes. So how are you, Logan? Logan, see if, let me move my feet. You can see that Logan is to her toes. So it gives her a nice, if she were to stop and, and reach her toes, grab your toes instead. That limits her. She's going to reach her toes. She's not going to go any further. Where if her hands are on the floor, she can go ahead and reach those fingers even further. So as she gets comfortable, she can go further. Um, again, you're going to feel it right back here. That's that hamstring. I have some back issues, and, and this definitely, um, this position definitely hurts my back a little bit. But again, it's a good discomfort. Go ahead and flex, flex your feet. If you're nice and flexible, you can grab those feet and pull. I am not. Go ahead, pull those toes up, Logan. Get a nice stretch behind the calf, hamstring, behind the knees. That's awesome. All right. Nice sometimes, too. Just comfortable to get your toes nice and loose. Give me a little flex and point. Maybe roll those feet around. Wiggle those toes a little bit. Just loosen up a little bit. Feels good. All righty. All right. We're going to go ahead, we're going to move from our straddle position or from our pipe position to our straddle position. So just nice open legs. Doesn't matter how far you are, uh, just get to a point where you can do it comfortably. We're going to just start nice straight and then just reach that flat back again. Um, when you do this again, we don't want to round the back and push down. We're going to, almost like there's a string pulling our chin forward. So pull it forward a little bit wherever you're comfortable. Again, this is my favorite stretch. You just sit there and read a book. You can watch some TV if it's not really up high, listen to some music, um, get on your phone. I know everyone's got a phone nowadays. Um, maybe make a phone call. If you're sitting here chit-chatting with your friend, I bet you could Snapchat, you could watch some TikTok. What else do people do? Don't be laughing at me, Mr. Cook. So once you're comfortable, no big deal down there. Push yourself. Remember, you always have to push yourself past your comfort zone a little bit. So just walk those hands out. Sometimes I like to crunch, crunch, crunch the fingers out. Get to where you're comfortable. I am going to take advantage of this and I'm going to go ahead and just get to a comfortable position. Again, make sure that you're not rounding that back. Keep that back kind of flat. If you're doing this stretch, go ahead, pause this video and hold it there a little longer. We're, for the sake of the video, not gonna hold it super long. So if you're nice and comfy, before you, before we move too far from this, if you are nice and comfortable, work on opening those legs a little bit further. I like to go one hand in front, one hand behind, and just push it forward a little bit. And then you can, again, 
find that comfort zone. So we aren't gonna do that today. We don't wanna spend that much time uh, on the video. Just know that these are some great stretches to do. So then we're gonna go to our right leg or left leg, whichever you're comfortable with. One hand on each side. Now, a lot of times, um, especially for my younger athletes, they're gonna reach and they're gonna end up reaching like this. And it's gonna be very uneven. Our goal is gonna be to turn those shoulders completely to that foot and reach out as much as you can. I like one hand on each side of your foot. Again, um, can we see Logan's feet? Um, again, because this limits you, there we go. This limits you, if you wanna reach your toe, you're gonna to be limited to where your toe is. If you put one hand on each side of your foot, you're gonna be able to go past your foot. Of course, everyone's gonna have a favorite side, so you're gonna go further on your favorite side. So again, get to where you're comfortable, hold it, breathe through it, and then when you're comfortable, Crunch your fingers out a little bit. Get yourself a little more uncomfortable. Hold and breathe through those stretches. You can see the difference between my flexibility and Logan's flexibility. Then what I like to do, instead of coming up in between, go ahead and walk those hands through the center position and to your other leg. Again, one hand on each side. Find that comfortable position. Hold it there, but you never want to stay in that comfortable position too long. Once you feel pretty good, crunch those fingers out. Again, making sure you're not rounding your back. We're not looking to get our nose to our knee here. We're looking to get our belly to our thigh. Belly to the thigh, maybe chin towards the knee. Nice time to start thinking about some other things while you're in this position. Uh, nice pretty pointed toes if you can. We're not just looking for lazy feet there. Nice pretty pointed toes. Also, let's make sure that you're not rounding your toes. We don't want that big toe to be touching the floor. We wanna make sure that those knees are pulled straight up to the ceiling. So kind of pull that pinky toe backwards and crunch those fingers out. Again, the longer you hold it, the better off you are. Get nice and comfy. Back to the center. Right now, let's do a little experiment. Once you start stretching, you're gonna see you can go much further. So this time, let's walk out to that center one. Again, you're gonna feel a huge difference about how far you can go. And if you can, hold those stretches for a long time. We're gonna do one more stretch here. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and pause that video. All right, so the next stretch we can do in this straddle position keeping this open, but we're gonna work a little bit on the side of our, of our, um, of our core area into our lat area. So we're gonna put one arm down, one arm up, and over to the side. Now, when you do this stretch, make sure there's gonna be a tendency to kind of pull it forward like this. Make sure it's nice and open so that hand stays in front. This hand goes over to the side. This is not a good flexible position for me. So kind of demonstrating that everyone's at a different level. Don't worry about it. Make sure that that stays open. Now, right now, you might have a tendency to kind of pull it in. So I want you really to think about this hand staying in front. Open this shoulder up. Almost look up towards your elbow. And you'll feel it right through here. Nice, good stretch through your lats. And switch to the other side. One arm down, one arm up over to the side again we don't want to see this we want to see this look up towards the ceiling in a perfect world we're going to hold it a lot longer than we're doing now get where you're comfortable again if you've got some music if you're stretching on your own get some music going nice and relaxed make sure you have those toes pointed make sure those knees are up to the ceiling that comfy. All right. Good job, guys. All right. So next stretch, one of my favorite. Hands behind you, kind of close. We don't necessarily have to have pinkies touching, but make sure those arms are shoulder width net further. And we're going to stretch it out nice and far. Sometimes you can just crunch those fingers backwards. Other times you might be more comfortable scooting your hips forward, but get to where you're nice and comfy. Good shoulder stretch here. When I'm in this position, sometimes I don't mind dropping my knees to one side. I can just feel a little bit more in those shoulders. Not just shoulders, but chest area. A little bit through the lats and drop the knees to the other side. All right. If you're comfortable, you're gonna pull them down a little further. Again, make sure that your head's staying kind of in a neutral position. 
and relax. Kind of a rule of thumb though, while we're sitting here, we'll talk about it. The bigger the muscle, the longer you want to stretch it. Big muscles need longer to stretch. Something hurting Logan? These hurt my elbows. <laughs> These hurt Logan's elbows. All right, so that again, a little more stretch, a little longer stretch if you've got time. Sitting up, face in the front, and we're gonna grab those arms, both arms out in the front. Grab that elbow, pull it across, and you're gonna feel a little bit stretched through there. Again, smaller muscles, less time to stretch. Bigger muscles, a little longer stretch time. And the other arm. And then both arms up, drop one arm down. I like to grab the elbow and pull. Is this how you do this one, Logan? Yeah. Jack actually grabs his hands like this and pulls down. I don't find as much comfort, I guess, in that. So I like to grab my elbow and pull the other arm down. Again, I think these stretches feel good. Maybe I could just become a professional stretcher. I think that's a contortionist. Uh, yeah, but I'm not good at contortionist. Contortionism? What would that be? Contorting your body. Contorting. Hmm. I'm not good at being flexible. I just think it feels really good to stretch. All right. While we're in this position, let's go ahead and drop our head to one side. Roll it to the front and drop it to the other side. And I've been doing some flexibility with our boys team and I'm not enjoying it. it. Has nothing to do with the boys. It has everything to do with me finding a lot of relaxation and flexibility. So teaching a bunch of boys on Zoom takes a little bit of the relaxation out of it. All right. So next one, up on those hands and knees, we're going to do a little bit of cat and seal. And you're going to see a little bit different with flexibility. So we call these cat and seal. So we're just going to go ahead and reach those hands out, bottom in the air, stretch it out nice and big, trying to push those armpits down. And just relax. Again, we're not going to hold these stretches as long as I normally would. And then from here, We'll typically go up and to a seal stretch. Now I have a bad back, so my seal stretch is gonna only go to about there. Remember, with any of these stretches, you're just gonna go to your comfort zone. Right now, this is almost beyond my comfort zone, but Logan, you look pretty good, pretty comfortable. From here, I like to go into one foot up and we go into a little bit of a hip flexor stretch. So we're gonna start, I know I saw Coach Corinne do this the other day, Kind of just a nice 90 degree angle here. And then we're gonna put both hands down on one side of your foot. Actually, a lot of people will start here. If this, is, if this is as far as your comfort zone will allow you to go, that's fine. We're just gonna lean it forward. You're gonna feel it right through here. Now I'm a little more flexible in the legs, so I'm gonna drop both hands to one side so that I can drop it down a little lower. Now I'm gonna work on keeping my knee facing the ceiling still, not dropping it off to the side, but I'm gonna lower my arms, get down to my elbows, I'm pushing my hips down towards the floor and honestly letting gravity do a little bit of the work. Just chilling out here. And again, I don't want to see you rounding too much. I don't mind you getting into a comfortable position as long as you're not compromising too much of your shape. So you can hold this one a long time, but for the sake of the video, we're going to show you the next step is just me right, uh, reaching it backwards sitting back a little bit in that hip area, flexing that toe up. You're gonna feel it right behind the knee. And again, let gravity do the work. Just kind of get where you're nice and comfy. And then from here, I always go forward a little bit. I reach around, grab the opposite foot. And I love that Logan and I are on different feet right now. And you're gonna feel this one, I'm gonna let go, just so you know, you're gonna feel this stretch right through the front of your thigh. And that would be your quad stretch. Quadricep muscle. I should be turned around for this part. Nice. All right, we're gonna repeat the same thing, other side. Foot in front, we're gonna make that nice 90 degree angle. If this is your comfort zone, you're just gonna lean it here. 
If you're a little more flexible, both hands on one side of your foot and lean it forward. If you're nice and flexible, you're just gonna lay it back down on those elbows. Again, let gravity do the work. For the sake of the video, we're not gonna hold our stretches quite as long. Sit it back, pull that leg up. I am less flexible on this one. I can feel it a lot more. Look, I'm not quite getting that knee straight. Again, that's okay. Go to your comfort level. If you can't quite get your hands flat, you might be here. Work on getting them flat. You'll feel it right through here. And then forward, reach backwards with your opposite hand. Go ahead, grab that foot. You pull it in towards your bottom. You're gonna feel it right through that thigh, right through that quad. Right. So this was a little bit of Flexibility Friday with Coach Kelly. Coach Logan. And we hope you'll join us again next Friday where we're gonna get a little more specific. We're gonna do some shoulder stretches more specifically for uh, some back tumbling, actually front tumbling too. Um, but shoulder flexibility, it's gonna really help you with your tumbling. We're also gonna delve a little deeper into some drills that you can do at home uh, for those of you guys that have been in my classes, you know my paper plates, sliders, frisbees. We use whatever we can to slide down and work on our uh, split flexibility. So we'll do a little bit of those drills next week. So we will see you guys then. Uh, have a great week and see you later. Bye guys. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for watching this episode of Downriver Gymnastics Virtual Academy. We hope you had a ton of fun and maybe learned something new. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up below and make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on the fun. Thanks again.